and I'm back. Hey everyone, um, it's been a crazy weekend. Um, I've been prepping for that Maker Fair where it's going to be a first opportunity for me to sell my art. And um, I have 30 paintings. I can't believe it. I'm so hopeful that some of them will be sold. Um, I've been busy taking the best professional pictures I can. I've got a nicer 35 millimeter camera, but um, trying to get the right angle and not get, you know, the varnish to have a shiny spot. It's, you all know. But um, I've been doing that and numbering them and getting ready and... Uh, then I had to go to work for a little bit today. <laughs> we have a big end of year mailing that we're uh, really almost at the end of the year for. Them. Normally we have it uh, earlier, but we had this other donor event. And anyway, it's work drama. But um, uh, I took a bunch of pictures of the pictures that um, I'm going to be selling of my artwork. You know, I was doing quite a bit before I started doing videos. Um, so. If by chance you guys are interested and want to see, I know I don't have the Etsy sign uh, set up yet, but if you want to see any of my paintings, if you'd be interested, I could do a quick video and kind of show you some of them. So leave a comment if you're interested. If not, no hurt feelings. I completely understand. But um, tonight, uh, Christina Welch's and Alan Welch's auction went on tonight, and it's a lot of fun, and I scored myself some bottle bottoms, and... I got one, I didn't even realize it afterwards. It's got red, it's got black, it's got white, it's got gold. It's my total 49 of bottle bottom. Yeah, I'm excited about it. Uh, I got one for bottle bottom from Alan. And um, actually I scored two Alan Wel uh, Welches tonight because uh, the if you guys saw the live, it, Alan called it a fan favorite. It's really funny, but it was quite the... Uh, <laughs> funny process of the strainer gadget that I sent to him. Actually, let's see. I have the same gadget, and I made bacon out of it, and he made interesting stuff, but... It's from the dollar store. It's a red pasta strainer. You should try it out. You might have the same fun result. <laughs> Just kidding. But, uh, anyway, um, so... It was a good auction. Um, I missed Allie. Where were you, Allie? Where were you? But um, anyway, let's talk paint. I am still obsessing over <sighs> the paint pour. I was so excited that I came up with a new... I, don't, I, I looked and I looked and I don't see anyone that has done the paint pour through... <laughs> Uh, I had to break down the top again. The um, hair diffuser strainer, in case you didn't see it. It's got such a neat design. And I think I was putting the paint in circles and not just let it go straight through. And so it wasn't the same design that I got when I did my sample. So still trying to work at it. I'm being obsessive about it. And I'm actually not going to pour it through the strainer again. I'm going to try a dirty pour of the colors. Because um, it wasn't as I was expected. But, um, oh. I can show you a couple for those of you. Um, here's my last puddle pour, the baby blue. I used a, a metallic. Maybe I should have used the turquoise I wanted, but it tried okay. I like it. I always like it when it's got some, you know, I like to call it that shimmery goodness in it. So. And then these are the actual sink, the hair diffusers that uh, I did and uh, this one was better than the other one I really like stuff like this I know my lights right there so it's hard to see Let's see if I block a little bit of that light if you can see it better anyway that's the smaller one and then I was just so obsessed with it I had to do another one but the other one's like much bigger which and then I didn't have enough paint but I've got some uh, embellishment ideas for what to do with it to try to make it not so just I mean they're pretty colors but I'm thinking some embellishments I think uh, Nate's rubbing off on me and everyone else so we'll see how that goes but uh, this time I think I'm just going to do a dirty pour and I'm looking around at my room and I don't know if I've ever done a dirty pour before 
I know I've done the flip cup in the pool, but anyway, we'll see how it goes. Um, this is a 10 by 10 canvas, and I'm going to use, <clears throat> I'm kind of afraid to use a larger one because the other one's like a little embellishment, embellishment, but I'm going to use pretty much the same colors. I ran out of copper, and I don't have enough of that a tea green this time, so um, this time I'm going to be using, uh, the colors are Liquitex Dioxazine Purple, Deco Art Copper, Craft Smart Green Teal. The Liquitex Deep Violet, the Artist Loft Turquoise, and then some Craft Smart Mink Pearl that I kind of shoot through the bottom at the end. Um, and I put them in my cup in that order, and I did two layers, which I have here, but I'm realizing I didn't stir them. I wanted to get them just a quick one, two. Uh, hopefully I don't have too much turquoise this time. But I did spray my cups with the WD-40 silicone spray, and I rubbed it in really well. For some reason, I have not had very good luck with the WD cans. I don't know, that doesn't spray real nice like Christina's uh, Welch's sounds like when she sprays hers. So I've had all kinds of problems with them, and it's too much. And Anyway, so I rubbed it in real good. Uh, all the paints have treadmill silicone in them. And um, let's see, this will be my first dirty pour. Let me just make sure that you guys can see. I'm trying this to the tonight to see if that helps with the heartbeats. If I just have something else for the camera to focus on. I don't know if that'll work or not, but we'll see. So it's my cup. Mm, let's see, that's going to be a lot of turquoise, so. And I always want you guys to see, so let me see if I can be a lefty in the pour. I guess this is called ribbons or something like that, right? Still learning, such a newbie. But the colors are showing up kind of like I was hoping that the sink strainer would, so that's good. I'm going to hit these corners. The colors had come out so bright and beautiful before, and that's what I was hoping would come through the strainer. I obviously didn't um, I didn't do the sample through the strainer because I didn't want to have to clean it again. I used a smaller um, it was actually a cat toy <laughs> that I took apart broke in half and it had open slots because it had a little bell or something in it so but look a pretty cup pretty cup but Gonna add a little bit more paint to it. I'm gonna use my right. I'm gonna go this way. There's a lot of turquoise there, so let me figure out. And I touched my cup to my canvas, but I'll stretch that out. That looks like plenty of paint. Oh, but you know what? I'm not going to try and do that this time because I always say, oh, I'll pour it on something else and then I don't have enough and see if I can get these spots in the middle so I don't have to work so hard to get my paint together. Craziness. Look at me. Craziness.
but this was, like I said, the bright kind of colors I wanted mixed for my strainer pour. Oh, funny thing this weekend, on Friday, my city had its annual tree lighting event at our big central park, and I went with my sister and her three kids, and she bought me an ice skating ticket. They put a rink up. Uh, look at all those cups are so pretty. Anyway, not a good idea. I like to think that I'm still young, and I'm not... And I fell, like, feet out from under me. I'm waiting for my forearms to bruise up really good. My knees started to bruise up. And, but and I got back up and I started skating again. But I don't know, Monica. I keep thinking I can do all this young stuff. But it was fun. I used to be a big fan of Dorothy Hamill. I even had the straight cut Dorothy Hamill wedge haircut growing up but I didn't want to be an ice skater it looks so pretty it's way too much paint but let me go ahead and move it around see if I can fill in these little gaps real quick I'm going to go here first. There's a lot of paint here, but let me still catch it for now. My sides have been weird with the stretched out look of the paint, and I don't like that at all. I'm always trying to get it the view for you guys. You can see. It's really cool though. I don't want to stretch it out. It's like its own little beautiful highway. Let's see. too much paint. Alright, I'm just going to pour off a little bit here. This copper almost looks orange. Alright, just let it pour off, Monica. See that mink pearl? Oops. Little side I didn't get here. I'll just do it like that, I think. It'll be fine. Alright, let me pour a little bit this way. Just so I can get a pretty, a pretty over the edge look to my painting. Make sure I don't have that. I do. I do. Then stretch each. And I think that'll work. Make sure you can see that. Real good, it's so pretty. It wasn't 
obsessed. It's still not exactly what I wanted, and I've used way too much turquoise this time, but it's very pretty. Well, I think it is. I like the, uh, the copper almost looks like orangey. So I should have learned my lesson with that. That mink pearl, I wanted it to shimmer in some areas, and it kind of has in here, but I'd be shimmering a little too much. air bubbles. It's definitely a turquoise piece. Not sure. Kind of like, you know, I find like almost every one of my paintings has like some sort of eyeball <laughs> that can be some sort of something Edges are done. I don't quite know that green teal might have just been it's pretty, but be careful. Good time to have my gloves right. Can you guys see that? Can you see this? That's <laughs> really pretty. Hmm. I don't know. I don't want to mess with it. It's kind of kind of cool. Kind of cool. Might have too much paint left on this bad boy but I've had too many that have had like the I didn't have enough and my ends were stretched out so I'll just let it dry for four or five days <laughs> Oops, excuse my arm just don't want it to pull anymore it's my little cheat but I feel better about the colors and how I wanted it to look in the strainer. Can't guarantee you you won't see. Well, maybe I won't. I won't post it, but I might do one more video <laughs> with uh, the strainer with these colors. I don't know. Came out so well in that one sample, but let me check what they have here. It's kind of dried. I. I had poured it on a plate. See how gorgeous that is? Of course, that's with the bronze. And see, that time the mink pearl played nicely. I'm going to try to pull it up for a skin. I touched it and it wasn't, oops, it wasn't dry yet. Anyway, let's see. If I can bring you in for a close up. And um, I will be also doing some. More of those Tiamoni crafts, but this time for uh, Christmas. The kids want to do this um, ornament bubblegum mach bum machine. Gumball machine. Look at I'm dyslexic. Here is painting. So I'm kind of all over the place. But I will be doing some Tiamoni crafts couple more videos for Christmas 
and um, if you haven't subscribed yet please click subscribe if you hit the bell next to the subscribe button it will notify you when I upload another video which I'm not quite sure how many videos I'll be doing this week because of the Maker Faire to figure out setup and all that stuff but um, if you can give me a thumbs up if you like this video if you like that I'm persistent until I try to get the result that I want <laughs> uh, click like and share and uh, I just so appreciate you guys watching somehow over the weekend I got to 51 subscribers which is amazing to me and I'm excited about it and I just thank each and one of you every one of you who watch and watch for more of my videos. Thanks. Bye.